We've done all of our shocks for and after races uh, just to know where we're at. It's got a uh, crank that uh, travels about two inches with uh, scale on it and uh, has potentiometers read uh, the speed and the distance it travels and then it calculates that over time with the load and uh, you get the resistance of what the shock does on compression and rebound uh, so you know where you're at. The, the shocks are, have oil in them. Um, and uh, the hotter they get, the velocity, uh, the viscosity of it changes. So the less resistance it'll have, the hotter it is. So you want to always kind of keep a parameter of what we usually do is about 80 degrees. Um, they'll get a lot hotter than that when you race, but for a testing standpoint, we'll leave them at 80 degrees. Um, so I think right now I start them out and spread about 65 degrees in here. So. We let them run a little bit till they get up to 80 degrees, and then we start our testing at that point. And then by the time you get done, you're usually about 85. You gain a little bit of heat. It just uh, always keeps you at a baseline. Um, you always use this to make sure you don't have a problem, and just to always know where you're at. So these are adjustable shocks. So when you turn the knob up here, you can change rebound on this shock. Um, other shocks are built different ways, but uh, we'll make adjustments throughout the night. And if we like that, we'll pull them off the car. And uh, sometimes you might go too many clicks and it might actually help you. So you bring it in and you know for sure where you're at. Um, and if you had a problem or if something doesn't feel right, you can come in. Sometimes a rock will hit your shaft, bend your shafts, or, or you'll lose valving uh, if you get a really rough track. Um, you know, so this thing always uh, just keeps you, uh, keeps you consistent.